kind of want to delve into the player analysis on the new Eric Dyer showdown card. This is for the Bayern Munich versus Arsenal game, uh, and this is you know the last one was a draw, um, and I can see it happening again. To be fair, I can see it going either way as well. So it's not surefire. Um, it's very very 50-50 whether he will get upgraded. But let's jump into the player analysis now and see what this card's saying. So we've got six foot two, medium high, three star, three star right foot, and lengthy. That's not a bad start, to be fair. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, we've got FC Bayern Munchen, Bundesliga, and England for the links. So very, very good there. He is a perfect link to Harry Kane. You can take that into note because Harry Kane's got some nice cards this year. Uh, he is very, very flaky, though, with players because, you know, obviously he's a tall striker. And a lot of people don't like that. But if you don't mind it, Harry Kane is a good card. But they, this isn't Harry Kane. This is Eric Dyer. Uh, we've got 85 pace, 82 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. That's not bad at all, boys. That's a very nice start, especially when he's six foot two. That's very good pace. No upgrading needed there. Um, finish uh, shooting wise, decent. Nothing really to comment on that. It is shooting uh, for a defender. He's got good shot power and good long shots, which is actually all right to be fair. Uh, passing is good, which you know that's all you want. Very good vision. Um, or a centre back, short pass, long pass are there as well. Dribbling, it's okay. Agility and balance is a little bit low. Balance is okay, uh, but agility is very, very low. That's not what you want to see. That ain't great. Defending um, is actually really good though. 94 slide tackle, 91 stand tackle, heading accuracy is good. Uh, interception, not the best. Defending awareness is okay. And physicality is absolutely insane. So this is a really nice card. What play styles have we got? He's got jockey block, no anticipate, no uh, innocent. But we've got slide tackle, long ball passes there, power headers there, bruiser plus and aerial plus. So he looks like a centre back that's going to be a really big aerial threat from corners and set pieces. Um, looks really, really good. Um, let's have a look at the price then. And is he worth it? 86 team a week and 87 team a week. Now, I mean, lads, considering team of the season is in a week. I'm not going to be completing any SBCs. Obviously, if you really want to complete him, I think it's a good price for him. Um, but yeah, I think you have to be confident on them at least getting an upgrade for this to be worth it.